In this Ruby programming tutorial, we are going to walk through how we can optimize the size of our image files using a Ruby gem. And we're going to be diving into how to use the image optimizer gem. Now, if you are on a Mac, then you can use the homebrew tool in order to install this. And you'd run the command brew install and then you need to install a few dependencies before we can actually get into installing the gem and those dependencies are going to be opti png which is just short for optimization or optimize png jpeg optum then gif sickle and then png quant now you can simply run homebrew and install these. I already have these installed on my system, so it'll take a little bit shorter period of time, assuming they haven't pushed any updates since the last time that I installed these on my system. So you can see it's updating homebrew and it's gonna go and it shows that all of those are already installed and up to date. So if you do not have those installed on your system, they might take a little bit longer. Now, if you do not have Homebrew installed on your system, then you can simply go, let me show how to get there. You can go to Homebrew SH and the full URL is just brew.sh. You can go there and it'll give you the exact command to copy and paste directly into the terminal. You just copy that and then you'd be able to run the exact same command that I just ran, assuming that you do not have it installed on your system. So now that you have that, now it's going to be time to install the image optimizer gem. So uh, assuming you have a modern version of Ruby, then you can say gem install image optimizer just like this and if you're wanting to put this in a rails project you just follow the exact same approach as you would for adding any gem i personally find that this is a tool that comes in very handy when i'm just using it on my own system so the reason why i'm even why i even had the idea for creating this guide was because i wanted to compress some of the image files i was putting into a react application and this was a really nice easy way of doing that so it looks like it went out and it installed all of those for me and now with all of those installed let me clear out my output here and i'm going to say irb so i'm going to start up a interactive Ruby REPL session here. And the file that I want to compress is this file right here. It's Coder Guy. And if you want to see the size of Coder Guy, you can see that currently Coder Guy is 4.7 megabytes. So it's a pretty large file. Definitely not something that you'd want to put on a website or else it'd take a very long time to load. So this is the image that we're going to be compressing. He looks like he's pretty happy, which I don't understand because he has to write PHP code. So I know back when I had to do that, I wasn't happy, but he can be happy if he wants to be. So now that we have that and we know what the image file currently is, now we can try to compress it. So I'm going to say require and then image optimizer, just like this. And after you run that command, assuming that the gem is installed with the current version of Ruby that you're running, then it'll simply return true. And then from there, we're going to run the image optimizer library. So you say image and then using camel case, you say optimizer dot new. And then you're going to pass in whatever the file name is. So let's switch to the finder. Let's grab the full file name. And I'm going to do this, uh, this specific case study with a JPEG, but you can use PNG, you can use GIFs, anything like that. So we have our JPEG here, and let's say we want the quality to be, let's say, 25. This is a common level of compression that I run it at. So you pass in quality here as an optional argument, and then from there, just call optimize. So I'm going to call optimize and if you hit return 
everything looks like it went through. If you got any air or any feedback that looks quite a bit different than this, then you may have the wrong file name or something like that. But as you can see right here, it says, okay, it took all of these bytes. So it looks like it took 4,676,000 thousand four hundred eighty four bytes and converted that into five hundred and thirteen thousand three hundred forty four so they showed that this gave us a eighty nine percent level of compression of compression so let's close out of our preview here switch back to the finder now you can see that that file that was almost five megs is now 513 kilobytes. So this is a much better file. This is a file you could actually use on the web. So now if you click on here, you can see that the level of compression did not even dramatically decrease the quality. So obviously, whenever you compress something, there's going to be a certain percentage of quality that has decreased. But the goal should be for you to decrease it to a point where the file size is much smaller while still not distorting the image. And as you can see right here, this image really looks, for the most part, exactly like the same image we had before, but it's almost 90 percent smaller in size. So I think that is definitely a great example of what you could do. And I've used this many times. Sometimes I even will compress certain images and icons that I want to be much smaller down by about 90 percent or so. But for this specific case or just in general, I usually put it at 25. But I definitely recommend for you to play around with it. Look at the documentation. I'll include a link link to their docs in the show notes so that you can grab this and you can play around with the documentation. You can see they have a few other examples. They show the process for using PNG files is pretty much identical. You can also use the other file types and explore the library. But this is a tool that I use on a pretty regular basis. So anytime that you want to be able to go and compress your own images directly on your own system, this is a great gem that will allow you to do that.